What's up, YouTube? So it's been a little while since I've done an in-the-bag video. I'm kind of bored today, so I figured I'd bust one out. Let you guys know what I've been throwing lately. I uh, haven't really been playing all that much this winter. So, uh, you know, but this is the bag setup I've been using uh, the last few rounds, at least, and then I'll be heading into the spring with. And there could be some changes in here. I'm trying to pick up a couple things, but I actually got rid of a couple things as well. Um, it's kind of a little bit more of a... Uh, it's a little bit more molds than I would probably prefer to have in here right now, but it's just the way everything's been going lately. Um, just testing out so much stuff, I keep finding all these great discs, and uh, I want to throw them. I want to put them in the bag, so we'll see. We'll see how it changes, you know, going into the summer and through the, through the rest of the spring and stuff. Because it seems like spring is come in Portland. The, uh, it's been really nice here, and uh, I'm getting out and throwing again. So. Let's go into the putters first, same way I always do it. Um, magnets, back very much in prominence in my bag. Um, beat up orange softies are the way to go. I actually got a, a, a few a few backup beat up softies now, so I can carry whichever ones I want, throw them and not have to worry about losing them, because I really like these super beat ones. This one's probably my favorite one right now. It's the ugliest disc in the world, but man, it flies so good. Um, it's like 170 or so, super, I mean, super beat, just trash disc, but, um, it's just the perfect little finesse approach disc, great, um, off the tee for really touch, uh, you know, really touch downhill shots through the woods, um, also a great turnover disc, I can throw it on any release angle, and as long as I throw it with a full power throw, it will eventually go right, so I can even throw it down on a hyzer, strong hyzer, it'll go straight, flatten out and then turn over and uh, you get like kind of sw swooping turnovers like that so it's a great disc and probably my my go-to approach disc also I'll use this one for long uh, like go for it type shots this one is max weight it's a great flyer I throw this one off the tee a lot um, also a great approach disc if I just want I want that kind of magnet flight but I want a little bit more stability maybe a little bit uh, better in the wind with that uh, heavier just a little bit heavier and not quite as beat, although still significantly beat in. Uh, this one's really great off the tee for hyzer flips that'll actually hold straight um, rather than uh, turn over if, if I don't, you know, mess it up at least. So magnets definitely uh, back in my bag in a big way. I've been really enjoying those lately. Um, another putter I have in the bag is the Atom by uh, MVP, the Electron Soft Atom. At this point, I'm really just trying to break this thing in and see where it goes once I get it beat up not using it for much these days. I do really like it as a throwing putter, drives and stuff. It's real straight, stable. Uh, it goes far and I like the feel of the, the Electron Soft Plastic has a nice rubbery feel but the gyro rim keeps it uh, the overall feel rigid of the like the shape intact but the, it still depresses under the thumb, has a good grippy feel. I like the way it matches my bag. <laughs> that one's in there. Uh, main putter still has not been dethroned is the Proton Soft Anode. It's a little like puddle top anode. Max weight. Um, this Adam, the Adam's max weight as well. This one's like 174 so run right around max. And just a fantastic putter. When I'm following through on pots the way I should be, when I'm confident, this thing will just hit from anywhere and uh, I just really like it. It just holds that straight line just that little bit longer. Um, because of that gyro uh, technology and just holds the line that little bit extra that allows me to be really consistent and uh, with my putting and it just you know it's a really great disc I, I love that putter when I'm on with it it's, it's so amazing um, more putters I have a putter issue you guys might know um, Soft Envy 165 I think or so maybe maybe a little heavier but the Neutron Soft Envy, great disc. Replaced my regular Envy straight away just because I love the plastic. I like that soft, flexible plastic, as you guys probably know. And uh, this one has a great feel. Also, just a beautiful disc with that rainbow foil stamp, pink and white. Just a really, really nice looking disc. Super stable, uh, but not over, really overstable. Just straight stable. Great hyzer upshot disc. Um, gentle hyzers and flat shots that I want to finish a little bit to the left when they slow down. Great driving disc and approach disc. Love the Envy. Also, you know, just fantastic for those sharp hyzers up and around stuff. 
uh, in, within putter range. And then uh, another disc that I have to put in the bag just because I like the way it feels so much is the Westside Discs Harp. I just posted a review on this guy. It's been in the bag. It definitely is useful um, for those uh, kind of hyzer approaches that you really don't want it to skip or do anything inconsistent. It just goes... Uh, it just goes left every time I throw it the feel on it is unbelievable. It's got amazing rubbery grippy feel to it It's got an interesting profile. I like the way it's kind of indented on top So my hand fits really nice on it and it just uh, inspires confidence with how good it feels in the hand and uh, It's extremely trustworthy disc. I can't throw it hardly anywhere It just gets no distance, but for an approach that I really need to sit down and really any headwind, this is a great disc to have in the bag. Um, on to mid-ranges. I don't throw mid-ranges nearly as much as I probably should. Um, I, I have a tendency to either throw a putter or step it up to a driver. Um, I throw so many putters off the tees that I don't really throw a lot of mid-ranges. But I have, I still have a bunch in my bag because when I do, when I do need them, I can throw them as and I like them. The end of a G Star Wombat. Just uh, reviewed this guy. Great disc. First end of a disc to make it into my bag in a very long time. Um, really interesting profile on this disc. Really unique. Um, it's got a six for glide on the numbers there, and it feels every bit of it when you throw it. This thing glides for days. Dead straight. I like to throw it on a little hyzer, pop it up, hold dead straight line down, straight down the fairway, and uh, just glides so far. That's really, really, uh, really, really nice just to have in the bag. So I like that because it finishes a little bit straighter than my go-to mid-ranges, which are the Axis. Um, I have two first runs. I have a bunch of backup first runs as well, and then I have uh, this Eclipse. I'll show you the first runs first. This one, orange one, beat in, flat top, max weight, um, great disc. This one is uh, I've had for a long time, probably my go-to mid-range overall. Very straight. I'll throw these for turnovers. I'll throw these for straight shots, um, gentle flex shots. They have a little bit more fade than the Wombat and probably just a little bit less glide, actually. The Wombat goes has a ton of glide. Um, so these don't go quite as far as the Wombat for the most part during my testing so far. I haven't thrown the Wombat all that much, so it's not really that definitive yet. But um, these are great discs. I love them. I will throw them for most turnover shots, although I'm experimenting with using the Wombat for that as well because it's just a little bit less stable and a little straighter overall. That being said, if you throw these right, I mean, they can go dead straight. It's just uh, a matter of dialing it in. And then I have this one. Uh, the Eclipse, beautiful disc, easy to see anywhere. It's really great for like dark woods. It just stands out perfectly against uh, you know like a dark background. Really easy to find, and a little bit more stable, uh, a little bit more stable than my other ones. And just a great disc. I love this guy for more like hyzer mid ranges, or if I want to put a little bit, a little bit more heat on it, and not worry about it flipping. And then. Uh, final mid range is the Tensor by MVP. This one's a nice overstable kind of meat hook type uh, mid range disc, but you can throw it really straight if you put a full power throw on it. If you kind of power it down, it flies similar to the Harp or like a Zone type disc. Um, but you can I, I can get much more distance out of this one, and uh, great disc to have on on windy days and stuff. Probably the least thrown disc in my bag to be honest, but I like to have it because it's it's definitely nice. Um, for certain situations, it's good just to have in the bag. Then, on to drivers. Really not all that many drivers in the bag right now. Flex Surge SS, still my go-to um, dead straight, low power, kind of hyzer flip disc. Also, um, my go-to, my go-to, not roller, but uh, turnover disc. If I need to go right, I'm probably throwing this disc. If I throw it flat and hard, it'll go right naturally. If I give it to Mannheiser, it'll definitely hold it all the way. So this thing works out really well for that. Also, occasionally I will throw it on a powered down, hyzer flip, straight shot. But yeah, if I'm going to consider it a go-to in any ways, it's more for turnovers, not for straight shots so much. But it does work really well for that if I need it to. Um, most of my straight shots are thrown with either these volts, which are both 160... 
167 or so, 166. This one's a little bit less stable. This one's a little bit, a little bit more stable. But other than that, they fly about the same. I like to have them both in the bag because just because they're great flyers. I throw this pink one probably more often to be honest, just because uh, the white one gets into the territory of my next driver a little bit. That. Uh, so I don't end up throwing it as much as I used to. Uh, so I was digging this thing out the other day uh, for like longer, um, uh, kind of like true fairway drives where it's on like a par five where I need to throw a pretty much a driver to get there. But um, I'm in the middle of like a long long haul. This thing does does well for that. And uh, Pinky is a really nice disc to go straight. Um, with low power, it'll also flex really easy. So both great discs. I like the Volts. Always, always good flyers since I put those in the bag. I really like them. Go-to driver by far. Throw this thing probably. I don't even know. Eight out of ten drives off the tee that I need a driver. It's going to be this disc. This thing, Proton Inertia, 167. Um, best driver I've ever had. It just feels amazing in the hand and just really perfect hyzer flip disc it just works so perfect for my form i can throw it on hyzer and keep it on hyzer or i can throw it on a little hyzer and get it to go straight um, i can also throw it for turnovers or turnovers if i need to but it doesn't cut hard on the turnover it'll kind of just like gently glide out that way so um just an amazing disc i need to get another one of these in the bag uh the proton inertia is where it's at highly recommend checking one of those out on to the last couple. I'm going to pull them out all at once. Um, Pro D Force, 150 class Pro D Force. This one's beat in. I like to have one of these in the system at all times just because it's really cheap and easy to, to replace if I lose it. But they still fly great. They have, they're have they really good for uh, uphill because they're lightweight, but they're still um, consistent and, and trustworthy. I, I very rarely accidentally flip this thing. Um, it generally still finishes left when it slows down because it's that kind of got that overstable profile but the lightweight and the fact that it's broken in means I can throw it very straight uh, great disc for like throwing over water and stuff so I really like having those also a good grip when it's wet Trespass my workhorse disc for stable shots I got another trust I got a biofusion trespass coming in the mail soon um, that'll go probably go straight in the bag this one is lucid it's like opaque lucid early run and uh, I love this thing this thing just goes really straight always finishes left um, I can throw it on strong hyzers and a hold hyzer all the way if I power it down I can get it to fight like a really sharp hyzer like a technical kind of dog leg hyzer um, just a really great disc awesome in the wind for my throwing style my throwing power I can throw it into the wind with get great results with it it's not the most stable disc in the world by any means but I like that about it, that it's not like a meat hook. It just goes really straight and uh, will finish left. And speaking of meat hooks, DD Felon, Lucid Felon, this one's 170? Let me look, 169 grams. Uh, crazy overstable, amazing wind fighting disc, huge skips. Um, only really breaking it out if I need to play a skip or if there's a, a solid headwind. Um, but yeah, I haven't found any wind yet that this thing can't handle. Uh, it's just a really, really trustworthy, overstable disc. It's the sparkles in there. It's got a great feel in the hand. Um, just really dead flat top. And oh man, it's a great disc. Um, highly recommend checking out the Felon if, if you're looking for a new, slow, kind of meat hook, overstable driver, kind of Firebird type disc. This thing is really great disc. That's my in the bag. Went a little long, as per usual, but you guys are used to that by now, right? Thanks for watching. Cheers.